Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Digital Logic Design. Today we will study about full adder and the ripple carry adder. Now for the addition of n bit binary numbers require the use of full adder and the process of addition proceeds on bit by bit basis like, like we do in a daily life arithmetic from right to left beginning with the least significant bit. And after the least significant bit addition at each position adds not only the respective bits of the words but must also consider a possible carry bit from the addition of the previous position. Now like in normal arithmetic when we add two numbers and in the result we have a carry that carry is added to the next higher significant numbers and we start this addition from the least significant bit. So the same criteria is also followed in the addition of binary numbers. Whenever we will be adding two binary numbers, we will start from the least significant bit and if the carry is transferred to the next higher significant numbers, then we will add three bits and a circuit will be required which perform the addition of three bits. A full adder is a combination circuit that perform arithmetic sum of 3 bit. The circuit have 3 input bits and 2 output bits. Among the 3 input bits, the 2 bits are addant and augant. And these bits are denoted by x and y. The third input, z represents carry from the previous lower significant position. Now in a full adder, two outputs are important because the arithmetic sum of three binary digits ranges from 0 to 3 and the binary representation of two or three bits require two bits only. Now the two outputs are designated by the symbol S for sum and C for the carry. The binary variable sum gives the value of least significant bit of the sum where the binary variable carry gives output formed by adding the input carry and bits of the words. The truth table for the full adder is given here. The 8 rows under the input variables designate all the possible combination which can be applied to the circuit as input. Now the output variables are determined from the arithmetic sum of input bits corresponding to each combination. When all the bits are 0, both the outputs are equal to 0. The output sum is equal to 1 only if any of the input is equal to 1 or all the three inputs are equal to 1. Similarly, the carry output has a value of 1 if two or three inputs are equal to 1. Now the input and output bits of the combination circuit may have different interpretations at various stages of the problem. On one hand, physically the binary signals of the input are considered as binary digits to be added arithmetically to form two digit sum at the output. And on the other hand, the same binary values are considered as variables of boolean function when expressed in the truth table or when the circuit is implemented with logic gates. All it means that if you are implementing a circuit on logic trainer or in hardware, these variables will act as input and output binary signals. And if you are performing calculation on paper, these binary values will be considered as the binary variables of the boolean functions. Now making equations for both sum and carry in the form of sum of product from the truth table of full adder, we will have both equations. And further simplifying these equations using the rules of boolean algebra, we will have simplified form such as the sum will be equal to x exclusive or y exclusive or z and the carry output will be equal to z multiplied by x exclusive or y plus x dot y. 
and the logic diagram or the gate diagram of the both equation is shown in the figure. Now we will construct a circuit which will add to n bits binary number. A binary adder is a digital circuit that produces arithmetic sum of two binary numbers and this circuit can be constructed with the full adders connected in cascade with the output carry of each full adder connected to the input carry of the next full adder in the form of a chain. So for addition of two n bit numbers we will require n full adders where the output of each full adder will be connected to the input carry of the next higher order full adder. So we can say that the addition of n bit numbers require a chain of n full adders or it can also be implemented with one half adder and n minus one full adders. But if you are implementing the binary adder with the help of full adders only, then the input carry to the least significant position or the least significant full adder will be fixed at zero. Now in the figure we have 4 bit binary adder which adds two number of 4 bits. In this input carry is represented by C0 where the output carry of first stage full adder is connected in series to the input of next full adder and so on. And the circuit performs addition of two 4 bit numbers. Now if you look at the circuit, two numbers A and B are added. The organ bits of A and the addon bits of B are designated by subscript numbers starts from 0 and the labeling starts from right to left, where the 0 subscripts represent least significant bit. Now the carries are connected in chain through the full adders and for addition purpose the input carry is equal to 0 or the C0 is equal to 0. Now the carry ripples through all the full adder to the output carry C4 and the sum output generates the required sum bits. Now to demonstrate with a specific example that how the system work, we will consider two binary numbers of 4 bit. Let A equals to 1011 and B will be equal to 0011. As per rules, the corresponding bits starting from the least significant bit will be added. At first, 1 and 1 will be added and this will give a result of sum of 0 and carry of 1. And this carry will be transferred or added with the next stage, organ and addend, which are 1, 1. Now, 3 bits will be added. Those are 1, 1, 1 and will give a result of 1 1 sum is 1 and carry is also 1. Now the carry will be again transferred to the next stage and the next stage numbers will be 1 0 0 and the result will be sum equals to 1 and carry equals to 0. Now carry equals to 0 so the numbers added in the next stage will be 1 and 0 and carry is also 0 so the result will be sum equals 1 and carry equals 0. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.